Okay, so this is going to be a really quick review of the Irisworks Studio software. This is the actual sign-up page for Iris. Um, you can come here, take a look. It's 30 days free trial. I've been playing around with it for about 15 days now. And uh, I'm going to log in to the actual dashboard and let you see what it's all about. So the really great thing about this software, and I, I just can't emphasize enough, I think they've done a great job with it. Uh, you can tell it's really set up for photographers. People who have run studios for sure have been involved in the design of this. And the dashboard's really nice. It's clean. It tells you what you need to do today and what uh, the most recent activities were for your emails. Uh, these are automated. I didn't actually... I set up the appointments and the, the emails were automatic based on templates. So these were sent out on their own. Uh, usually the weather loads up here. I've been having some internet issues right now, so I don't know exactly why it's not coming up, but it'll give me the weather for the day. Um, some down here are my goals. And uh, had, have I had more time to load clients in and do some numbers? Those would be easier to see here, but uh, as you make money, you go up towards your goals, and uh, just nice motivating kind of thing to do there. So the client thing, the client tab here is awesome. Uh, you can either track your current clients or your new leads. The new leads is a great tool. Um, really quick here, I just loaded in a fake contact right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that one, and you can see. Uh, Jane Doe, I put her in, and uh, she has a child, she has a spouse, Jim, uh, she has an upcoming session and is telling me about that, and uh, notes that I need to know for that session. Uh, here's the recent activity. Uh, like I said again, the system did all these emails for me based on templates automatically, so I didn't have to remember to do that. I can also load other things in, like if I want to segment the list to mothers or people who maybe have had a kid in the last year, maybe they want to do some family photos for the first birth birthday, that kind of thing. I can set all that up automatic so I don't have to deal, don't have to remember it. I don't have to have a Google Calendar appointment reminding me to do it. So it, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty slick really. Here's the to-do list. Uh, this is based on, here I said a happy birthday email to Jim on the 11th. Just remember to do that. Um, I, I'm a little behind. Let's say I, uh, what I did is I signed her up for uh, family photos on December 1st. And as soon as I did that, my to-do list automatically generated based on some templates, templates that you can edit. So let's say I've finalized the location, confirmed the session and date, and I've sent the invoice. So a great way of doing it. Okay, uh, here's the sessions. Like I said, I've got her scheduled for those. Invoices, I can generate invoices right here. Here's my draft invoice of $400. I can create a new one from right in the client window with a due date. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, documents. I didn't have anything, but I'll show you those here in a second. Contracts. Again, I didn't um, send a contract with this one, but what you've got um, all your documents over here, and you just send everything—a contract for a photo shoot, whatever it may be—and it it will just send it'll send it for you to the client. And then if you upgrade to the galleries plan, you can put the customer galleries, all your the photos you take in there. They can pick the ones they want. You can also set it up for them to download their photos as well. So everything, you don't need any other accounts for that. It's just everything can be streamlined through Iris. And I think it's, I think it's amazing, the functionality of this program. The other thing that's great about this is the new leads. Say you're out, you get some, you get at someone's card, you get their information. I've put in a guy named John Smith here. Um, you can see I've got his email, his phone number, and I'll just contact him, just try to sell him on a photo shoot. And if he does become a client, I just click make a client and he automatically gets sent over to the client section. Um, right here's the groups where I can make different mailing groups, different types of um, 
contact lists. Locations is really neat. Um, all your shoot locations you can put in here. You can share them with others uh, and you don't have to. You can keep them private as well. Here's one that I put in. Fort Wayne, Indiana. So it's a really neat place. I, don't, I didn't put a picture an image in right now because I don't have one. But I went here for a wedding a few uh, months ago. It was beautiful. It's actually a wedding in a barn, but they do a great job. And I thought it'd be, they have a, um, a farm, a pond. It, it was a really nice place for taking photos. So I just wanted to load that one in. So you can just keep track of all your photo shoots. You can share them with your customers. And um, it's just really streamlined, and I like that a lot. I think you can't go wrong with this to-do list. Um, these are All these ones that are loaded here are based on the um, client where I loaded in that I was doing a family photo shoot. So this tells me everything I need to do today, this week, um, everything that I've completed, and for every customer that would go in there. And it's huge for me. I love checklists to handle what I need to do next. So... If you're big on just having a checklist and you like marking things off a checklist like I do, then this is a great way to go. Uh, you can edit these as well, and I'll show you all this here in a little bit. Here's your basic calendar. What's coming up? When they're scheduled for? I can open it up. You can see the times in here. Um, if I'd put in an address, the location, any notes I might have had as well. Here's the invoices. I created one. It's just the one for Jane. And um, you can see Jane. It was invoice 101 and it was for the Christmas family photos, $400. And I can send that to her and I can process, process that all through um, Iris as well. And here's um, some of my documents. Uh, for instance, a client questionnaire. I could have sent that to Jane for her family photo. And as you can see, you open this up and it's got all kinds of fields that you can add to. You can um, do your own custom ones. And it's, it's just a great way to get all the information you need by pulling your customer without having to be on the phone or have them change their mind. You know, they can just communicate with you this way. It gives them time just to sit down instead of being on the spot too and really think through what they want. And you can make as many of these as you want, and then you just hit send and send it to your uh, your contact, whether it's a wedding questionnaire or just a general client, or you can create whatever you want. It's great. If we come up here, take a look at my account, the studio account in general. Um, as you can see, you've got all the contact information here. You can put your logo in it so you can customize it. Um, this, is, this is the prices for the subscriptions as of the time of this filming which are super, I mean, to get a good calendar program and an email program and a customer ma management program and invoicing program, I think, you know, 170 a year is pretty awesome. And then I love, absolutely love the, the idea of being able to upload all my photos here and let the clients log in, see what they like, and um, even buy and download from this site. So, you know, I it's just... Again, that, that would be another software you have to buy in order to do that. Here is the goals and metrics where I set those up. I just do down $5,000 a week, and I can add whatever goals I want, and that's what showed up on the dashboard. Here's all those workflows we saw, like um, the family portrait workflow. That's what came up for Jane Doe on my, uh, this, on my example. Um, you can come in here, you can manage the items, you can add items, you can delete items you don't like. It's just, once you have this set up, it's just going to be like a no-brainer way of making sure you get everything done for every client. And you just, you just have to, you don't have to think about it anymore. You just do it. And it's been great so far. Here's my diff dis different session types. I just loaded that one for the Jane Doe example. You can put in anything you want. Here's our email templates. Remember how I said it was automatically emailing? You come in here. Um, for instance, let's look at the family one. I thank you for booking the family. Here it is. It'll automatically load your client name, the studio name. If you want to customize it any other ways, it, it tells you how to do that down here. You can pick a different layout. 
You can add a banner, you can add an attachment, you can add the questionnaires we saw at this point as well. So I understand that, you know, setting up a new software is time consuming, but once you have this down, you're going to have a systemized business that just functions well, just streamlined. You, you would be amazed once you get a system, whether it's this system or any system, how much better your business runs and how much it frees up time and money. Um, we can set up the invoices. Just create, like this was a family, um, our Christmas photo one, and I said it was $400, but you can, you can create all of them you want. And this is another really neat thing. Um, you can add this code to your website and um, then it will auto-populate your leads, your um, leads in your client box here. So it's just another way of capturing leads as well. Anyway, overall, I think this is an excellent program. I think you're going to be hard-pressed to find another studio management program that even comes close to this one. Um, if you get a chance to check it out, it's a 30-day free trial. So you can't go wrong. And, um, you know, if you want to use our affiliate link, that's great. If you don't, that's fine, too. Um, it's down at the bottom. And, you know, just having systems in place, I can't emphasize that enough of how important it is for the business.